Okay guys and welcome back. Now this is going to be a reasonably short lecture and what we're going to do now we have some code behind our normal spreadsheet uh, we can see if we just have a look uh, at my file explorer just here that the file we're working on is xl3 sales data.xlsx that is it is a normal excel worksheet. Now because we've now recorded a macro which if I can find it we can have a look at. Uh, now we've recorded a macro uh, what we need to do is save it as a different file type. It's still going to be Excel but it's now going to be an XLSM which is a macro enabled workbook and all that means is there is some code attached to this file. So what we're going to do is if we just hit save now we should get an error message and the error message is going to say, hey, the following features cannot be saved in Macro Free Workbooks, VB Project, which is where our code lives. So if you want to continue to save as a Macro Free Workbook, that is, you will lose all of your code, click Yes. But if you want to save it as a Macro Enabled Workbook, which we do, we're going to click No. So we'll click No. We'll get our Save As dialog box. This is where I'm currently storing this file there you can see our original file and you can see here we have save as type xlsx I'm just going to hit the little down arrow I'm going to choose the next option down which is Excel macro enabled workbook which is an xlsm and I'm going to hit save and now if I drag over my file browser you can now see that we have two copies that have exactly the same name one is the normal XLSX which is a Microsoft Excel worksheet and the other one has the same name but has an extension of XLSM which means it is a macro enabled worksheet. Now what I'm going to do is let me just line that up so you can see it nicely. What I'm going to do is close the file now uh, so what I'm now going to do is open up the macro enabled file, the one we've just done. So when I double click, you'll see you get this security warn warning. Now depending on which version of Excel you got, you may have a little pop-up box in the middle of the screen. But the security warning says macros have been disabled. Now that's a normal security setting because some macros are malicious, not the ones that we're going to write because they're all going to be friendly and happy macros, but some are malicious. So if you trust the source, which we do because we've already written this code, just hit enable content and I'm just going to close the thing about updating Excel and there you go so now we have our Excel file open we can hit Alt and F11 and we're back into our code okay I'll see you in the next lecture